a hala there uh can you see a lot of things no i'm not going to take your art class or any other classes you're right this is the chemistry class but uh, the purpose of showing is uh, these things to you is that we should understand how chemistry has affected our full life you can see here so many different uh, men are there you can see an early man is there an egyptian is there a medieval age person is there and here comes the modern man so what is the similarity between all of them do they knew about science even the early man what do you think come on give it a try with that let's start the first chapter of standard 6 chemistry that is introduction to chemistry that will give you the answers what is chemistry and what is the need of studying chemistry you can see uh, we will deal with the development of chemistry in this and about the notable scientists so there are many scientists so first let's start with the introduction of chemistry to make your understanding easier i'm showing you some products some products which we use in our day to day life you see you can see the colgate you can see the hit and everything else so these all products are somehow even your stationery box is somehow related or made from chemicals yes this uh, your jam also somehow everything is related with the a uh, uh, development of science because of this development of science we have we are using plenty of products and how these products are related with the subject let me tell you in detail okay so for that we should start with the first activity given in your book that is a warm up activity see here you have to here write the names of any three medicines you take any three food products you buy from the market any three cosmetics see you can uh, cosmetics means the products used for your personal care like soaps creams shampoos etc see the word science is derived means it came from a latin word scientia scientia means knowledge so this is the term used in the broad field for human knowledge concerned with the facts that are explained on logical rules or you can explain them logically there are certain rules patterns or principles followed or you can also say that it is the knowledge attained through practice or observation and experimentation it is not completed it's an ongoing process there are so many things that are uh, discovered now also and it is the basis of our civilization so science now we are in the scientific world scientific era so it is the basis of our civilization see science is divided into earth science the science about earth rocks and other phenomenon uh, uh, a and physical science and biological science now earth science is again di uh, divided into uh, so many branches like geology study of rocks and earth astronomy study of heavenly bodies meteorology and many other bodies but phys uh, physical science is divided into physics and chemistry and biological science or the science of the living beings is divided into botany zoology and ecology and other branches well i haven't told you about the physical science it is a study of matter so it has two main branches physics and chemistry now if you i will tell you as what you study in the science in sixth standard you study up to fifth standard you have studied science only now in sixth standard again what happened the science is divided into three branches physics chemistry and biology so physics deals with the 
different forms of energy like light energy, heat energy, sound energy and etc. While chemistry which you are studying now, you can see it deals with the study of the substances. How the substances are made up of, how they will behave or react when the uh, temperature is increased or pressure is in increased or different ways. While biology is the study of the living beings. It is further divided into botany and zoology. And about this you will study in the higher studies when you will go to college like that. So now you can see science is divided in by many different areas of study. Like environmental science, genetics, biology, earth science, physics, maths, chemistry, human sciences, astronomy etc. Sometimes these areas overlap and sometimes they are broken into smaller areas or sub-subjects for enhanced study. So in broader sense, chemistry is in food and chemistry, cosmetics, clothing, medicines, chemicals, food processing, agriculture, preservatives, aspirin, paracetamol, penicillin, all the medicines means it is everywhere around us. And whatever you wear, whatever you eat or whatever we take when we are ill like medicines and all are all come the products of chemistry. So chemistry is everywhere around us. Now let's start with the early history of chemistry. So many many years before when chemistry became a science, people knew how to combine certain substances in order to make things like People of Egypt made bronze by melting tin and copper together. They also made glass, jewelry and perfume and wine. So all these things in or all these things needed the production and also knowledge of control of the changes. However, people never knew how the changes uh, took place or what made the changes the took place okay so as you can see chemistry started to develop in the early period but in the medieval period it took the shape of alchemy alchemy uh, is the practice of science uh, in the 1600 or 1700s uh, in the years 1617 years 100 years so what happened this kind of practice were, or this kind of science was practiced in China, Arabia, Egypt and Europe. But here what happened they were the people who were the predecessors or you can say our forefathers of the modern chemists. They were largely discredited by the scientific community because they had occult and religion leading to scientific research. Alchemy and the alchemists are older words for chemistry and chemist. You know, they transformed or created substances, though seemingly magical processes. So, magic is also associated with the alchemist or chemistry. So, they never uh, uh, took this as a science, but they related it with the spirituality, magic and creation of certain substances which can extend their life or which can lead to eternal youth. Nicholas Flamel was an alchemist who was around 14th century claimed to transform metals into gold. From here in Europe the search for the uh, process to turn the common metals into go uh, gold started. In Europe there was uh, stories for a particular type of stone called the philosopher's stone which was connected with all the transformation pro uh, projects. It was a legendary substance capable of turning inexpensive metals like iron, lead or mercury into gold and silver. But it was sometimes considered as a stone or sometimes as a powder or potions which only the powerful magicians could create or powerful alchemists could create. It was also believed that there is a elixir of life means uh, you can also say the stories traveled from uh, India and China about the uh, elixir of life or Amrit as you better know. 
that the gods have dr uh, drunk this magical potions and they are eternally living so this stories traveled from india to china by the arabs into the europe and there was a search for this magical potions so around the 17th century there were searches for the philosopher's stone and to, uh, towards this uh, elixir of life so what happened it was a priority of the alchemist and they were successful in certain extent means they helped uh they could extract metals and develop the other ways and so it was the path breaking process or you can say the modern chemistry started taking its root towards the end of the 17th century the scientific processes involved modern chemistry and the alchemy and chemistry started so let's start once more revision of what we have learnt in today's class so natural science is divided into three parts earth science physical science and biological science earth science is divided into geology astronomy metrology and many other branches whereas physical science is divided into physics chemistry and biological science into botany zoology ecology and many other branches and we have learnt about the alchemists that alchemy was one of the earliest forms of chemistry which combined science magic philosophy and religion and alchemists who are the people who practice this alchemy and they are the forerunners of the present day chemist or perhaps the earliest experimentalists so their main goal was to transmute common metals into gold to synthesize the philosopher's stone and to get or make the elixir of life a magical potion that could impart long youth or life now you can answer some of the questions which are provided as homework you have to do this in your pen notebook so first question will be what is science okay second who are alchemists what where their main goals okay so these are the two questions which you have to do today